What up, y'all? Conscious One coming at you. Let me see how I'm going to... I don't even know how I'm going to title this video, guys. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, random topics. Okay. So, people have been telling me out there, uh, look a little deeper. And so, I looked a little deeper. And I'm a very, very good listener. And based on what I... Based on what I uh, believe or think that I know, it's like, oh boy. I mean, this is, uh, I can't believe how this is spreading like wildfire, guys. I can't believe how many people are talking about this situation, this case. Okay, can't believe it. Me digging deeper, I say, oh, my father, can't, he can't be my father. And I always had a feeling that, that he was, and that's the thing about it, because we're just not the same. You understand what I'm saying? But how these people, guys, could try to torture me like this, I mean, they must have really had a vendetta against my real, fa my real father, a.k.a. grandfather, but probably my father. Because shit, shit wouldn't be going down like this unless that was a big, big secret, a big, big uh, illusion that I was put under. But these individuals buying houses up, buying houses for people to turn their back on me and buying them homes. And these people actually, guys, imagine if somebody showing you they got a house or all these people getting houses and you like, where are all these people getting this money from? And then everybody's trashing your name, making it seem like you, you some bum when they living off your name. And torturing you by sending you, showing you, calling you, showing you pictures, sending you stuff to your phone, showing you how they are living off your name and, and you're not. Meanwhile, they're trying to kill you. Can any, I mean, can you guys imagine being in a situation like that? Because, see, for the last two days, I've been wondering why things have been happening the way it's happened based on everything that I've heard what will make somebody do something like this to somebody okay and obviously hold on for a minute y'all obviously you gotta be capable of thinking very objective about things to try to figure things out that's the only way you can really solve a case is to think about something very very objectively Okay. And and for somebody to leave me an inheritance like that, would well, I have to be my father? I could that couldn't have been a grandfather. But then I can see where he had sins that he had to pay for too, and that's why uh what may or may not have happened to him happened that way. Because there was some dues that had to be paid. But the thing about it that the individuals that uh that that uh, were my te my caretakers growing up, they had it out for me. It was almost like, well, we're gonna punish, we're gonna take it all out on on this individual. All the dues that had to be paid, all the patrol we're gonna take it out on this one individual. But what, but guy stepped in and said, now nah, you're not gonna take it out on this individual. He said, you're gonna take it out on yourselves. And all these people that I that I know that have been involved with stealing what belongs to me, uh, I don't even think these people are gonna be alive for another couple of years because they first of all they look sick, and from what I've been hearing, they are sick from doing and participating in things that are forbidden. And now God is executing His wrath on everybody that was involved. And no one, no one can expect me to have any kind of mercy or forgiveness when no one stood up for me. The only person who stood up for me uh, was God himself. And that's the only person, I'm here to tell you guys, that's the only person you need to stand up for you is God. You can't trust these people down here. I mean, guys, I mean, can you imagine uh, how my trust has been totally shattered in people? You know, I I don't I don't trust people. I trust myself though, and I trust God. That's all I need. 
You don't need to trust other people. You don't have to trust. You need to trust yourself and you have to trust God. That's it. Everything else is uh, it's a liability. You know, everything else is a liability. You can't trust it. So now I'm understanding why things have to go a certain way and how I have to deal with people that understand what I've been through, whether we're talking about a wife coming in or friends coming in. It appears that I'm going to be dealing with people who went through similar things as me and, and the way God set that up and the way the justice system is setting things up it, appear, it appears that justice will be served very soon and uh, yeah I mean it has to be served and it's just amazing it's like even through all this guys I still have an empathy I have an empathy for all the justice officials that I, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with y'all. There's probably people in the justice system that that are even more upset about this than me. Because for me, the thing is so shocking that it's literally like I'm living in a dream. I can't even grasp the reality of this of this damn thing. But there was definitely a lot of vendettas going on in the family and they they tried to take it out on me and, and they, it didn't work it backfired on them it backfired but as far as my so-called father i mean i i don't resonate with this individual what kind of father would set uh set their son up for failure that's not that's not a father at all <laughs> who the fuck is he could be an older brother could be a half brother so now everything all the, i mean it's just i mean guys can you imagine coming to the realization that you've been living in an illusion all these years it's literally like i'm in in a dream but yeah um yeah i mean when you go <clears throat> when you go through something like this oh excuse me guys you gotta you gotta be around people that uh been down the uh, similar steps you have because you know uh you other people are not gonna be able to uh grasp what i've uh, went through and understand why i am who i am and stuff like that so for those out there who's telling me to dig a little deeper this is probably the deepest i can give uh uh, uh or excuse me deep as I can dig is that my father cannot be my father you know if if this much is if this much belongs to me and these people called it was this much chaos going on all around me then uh, they can't my, it, nobody's father could sit back and watch something go down like that doesn't make any sense but yeah people stealing from people stealing from the bloodline and these individuals must have had an ugly vendetta against my grandfather because think about it, they 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 taking what belongs to me and they're spending on every they took all the people that I knew that basically that I associated with from high school and Every situ situation I was in life, they sabotaged. And then gave all these individuals, bought them homes. And then these individuals were laughing in my face. Uh, drinking, God God knows, doing maybe doing orgies and drinking and, and having toast over my demise and them living off my name. Meanwhile, I'm not knowing and they just thinking the whole thing is funny. Guys, that, that is the most wickedest, disgusting thing anybody could ever dream of. To do that to somebody i don't care who we talking about you know whether the person is related i don't care who it is that's one of the most wickedest disgusting things that anybody could ever do to somebody to torture somebody that's basically putting somebody down but not only putting them down kicking them while they down spitting on them while they down 
And like I said before, regardless of what these individuals profited off my name, off what belonged to me, they still looking at what I'm doing. And that goes to prove to you guys that money does not make you money does not make you happy. If you give somebody all all this stuff and they still wondering what what wondering about what so and so is up to, what does that tell you? That tells you that you know richness comes from the inside. It doesn't come from outwardly things. You have to be rich on the inside. You know, again, I don't got the jury on me. I got the jury in me. Because you got individuals sitting up there living in the house right now that are not even happy as I am. Wait, I thought I thought it was all gravy to laugh at me and and have you and get drunk and everybody toast on my demise. Let's give a toast to this to this anointed person's demise while we live off his name. As if that wasn't as if enough damage hadn't been done. Oh boy, these these individuals, guys, don't don't worry about me. We already know where these people are going. We already know what they what they're dealing with right now internally. Diseases. God, my ancestors are making sure that these people are gonna experience wrath. Not only in the afterlife, they they're gonna experience wrath in this world and in the afterlife. It's not gonna end. You're gonna have people wishing to die. They're not gonna die. And even when they and even when they do die, they'll still they'll still be uh uh being punished it's not going to end how the hell can this many people in your so-called family be against you when you don't have nothing to do with these people so like i said y'all you know um You know, the Bible says God is is not going to be mocked. You know, God is not going to be mocked. And yeah, again, it doesn't matter how much money you got. If you ain't rich on the inside, you don't got shit. Yeah, I'm serious. I'm dead serious. If you're not rich on the inside, you don't got nothing. If you don't got that jury on the inside of you, you don't got nothing. All that outwardly stuff, that shit don't even matter. It's just like anything else, man. It's just like when, I don't know, an Xbox came out. And you buy that video game from the store. Now now you you think you're the hot shit because you're the first one to get that video game off the show. But after playing that game for a while, you ain't even satisfied no more with it. Now you look, you want, you want something else or something like this. You know what I'm saying? And like the Bible say, what is it, book of e Ecclesiastes, Solomon, everything is vanity. All the outwardly material stuff is vanity. And that's why I've been telling y'all everything has its checks and balances. You know, um, the only thing I would benefit from from being wealthy, and I, I'm dead serious with this, guys, because because guess what? I didn't driven I didn't driven all the kind of cars, even though I was working. Still, I didn't driven all the kind of cars. I didn't see how rich people live. I didn't see. I know how the celebrities live. I've been around celebrities and all that type of stuff. I seen it all, and God allowed me to see it all, and He showed me that that shit really wasn't shit, and that I had something on the inside that people wanted. It's not. It's not on the outside. It's on the inside. Things that can't be stolen. Things that can't be touched. Things that cannot be forged. Boy, 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 I tell, I tell y'all, boy, so I've been digging deeper, as y'all see, and yep, that's all That's all I can come up with, you know? Things are not what they appear to be, you know what I'm saying? Obviously. Things are not what they appear to be, y'all. And it's crazy too because all you know, I hear that all these people that benefited off off my back. Uh oh, 
yeah, that's good because I gotta end this shortly anyway. Guys, they, these people, I ran into these. Let me tell y'all something, man. God has shown me his wrath on these people. Hold on. G guys, God has shown me the wrath on these people, and it's not pretty. Listen, guys. They tried to send in what, what they tried to do. They tried to send in. They tried to send in an X. Think about this, guys. They tried to send in an X of mine's. To try to see if they can get in my world, and guys, God let me see every single body that's that's uh, that's got this illness they got. I seen all of them, guys. I seen all of them in per in person. They all got the same look about them. You can tell you can tell they're dying. All these people that betrayed me, they all they got an illness. I seen I seen these people. God allow God allow me to see these people once or twice in the past one or two years i've seen these people they all got the same look about it. they all got the same illness guys and trust me guys when i say i got empathy but no sympathy it means i have empathy meaning i care about people enough to help somebody and make sure to want to to to, to make sure they do the right thing but when people choose the wrong thing i don't give a damn about them I don't have no sympathy for people that chose that chose darkness over light. Uh-uh. No. And guys, trust me when I tell you, I do this is not something I'm smiling about and gloating about and saying, well, that's why they this and that's why no guys, this this is terrible. Uh I, I what I'm saying, why couldn't these people just make the right choice? How how can just not one of them have made the right choice? Just one. How could just not one of them came to me and said i'm gonna make this right for myself because i know what's being what's being done to this chosen one uh this could be a serious backfire and i don't want no part of it because i see what's going on how can one how could one person guys not come forth not one just go along and get along that's all people do seek validation go along get that's all good that's what i'm telling y'all man my whole like the way i see people no more is not the same it's not the same, y'all. We already talked about what they eat, what they do, the, ch the wrong choices. They G guys, this has got to be a level of hell because you're sitting back and you watch, like I told y'all, you watch people make all the wrong choices every day. That, that's hell. When you get up and you have no choice but to poison yourself <laughs> and, until you decide to take life by the harness and say, no, I'm going to control what I put in my mouth or I'm going to control what I watch on TV. I'm going to control what I put on my skin, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then you start to get better and better and better and better. And you notice when you start going on that path, a lot of people start becoming your enemy. They become your enemy because you're making the right choices for yourself. Go figure, guys. So you can you imagine what I think about people now for the most part? So anyway, guys, I didn't say about that. I didn't dug deeper. And uh, I just can't believe how many people on this case already. I mean, everybody knew about you talking about like hundreds of people know about my situation, but me and, I, and I'm a Johnny come lately and it's my situation. Go figure. I'm sitting up here. I am watching a movie that I'm a part of, but, I, but at the same time, I'm not. <laughs> Unbelievable. I got to go, y'all. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.